Hi everyone! In our last video, we focused on converting an entire Excel file to PDF. Today, I'll walk you through the steps for converting a specific Excel worksheet to PDF. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Azure Logic Apps. To perform this flow, we will be using two actions with CloudMersive Document Conversion Connectors. To start our flow, go to the Create tab on the left-hand side in Power Automate and choose Instant Flow. This will let you trigger the function manually, which is what we want. Now, click on the Manually Trigger a Flow option and press Create. Now that we've reached the Flow page, we can start putting together our function. Click New Step to input your source file. Like in all of our videos, you can choose from whichever file source you prefer. I'm going to be using OneDrive in this video. Once you've chosen your file input action, you can retrieve the source file. For this function, you'll need to choose an XLSX file that has multiple sheets. Now, we will add another step using a CloudMersive document conversion connector, which is the connector with the green CloudMersive logo. Here, you will be shown a list of possible document conversion actions. For this flow, we will pick the split a single Excel XLSX into separate worksheets. Make sure your file is .xlsx or it won't be compatible with the connector. If you want to convert an older Excel file, you will want to use an XLS action instead. If you've never used a CloudMersive connector before, you will be prompted to input your API key now. This is free on the CloudMersive website without commitment, and once you've input it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now, add your file content as the input file and name it whatever you'd like. I'm naming mine testinput.xlsx. Below, you can see it says set to true to return the contents of each worksheet within the Excel file. Choose yes here. Once again, we will click new step, but rather than adding a connector here, we will insert a control. Once you click on control, you will be given a list of actions. We want to choose apply to each. Here, you'll be asked to select an output from the previous step. Click inside the dialog box and choose the Result Worksheets output. Now, instead of clicking New Step, we will add an action within the Apply to Each control. Click on the Control options again and choose the Condition control. You will be prompted to choose a value, and for our purposes, we will select Worksheet Number and set it equal to the number of whichever sheet you want to convert. For example, I'm going to enter the number 3 because I want to convert the third sheet in my original Excel file. We won't be putting anything in the If No box, but in the If Yes box, we are going to add two more actions before we can test our flow. The first action will be another CloudMersive document conversion connector. We will select the Convert Excel XLSX spreadsheet to PDF and input worksheet contents. Again, name the file whatever you'd like with .xlsx at the end. Adding another action, we will choose the Create File option for your preferred file drive. Select the desired folder path and input a name for your output file. Make sure the name ends with .pdf. In the File Content dialog box, we will insert the output content from our previous action, then press Save at the bottom of our flow. Now that we've finished all of the input steps, we can run our flow. Click on Test in the upper right corner, then choose the option for performing the trigger action manually and press Test. Then we can click Continue and Run Flow, which will trigger the flow for us. Here, you will be informed if the flow was successful or not, and after clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear so don't stress if that happens to you. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure your original input file was valid for the connector, meaning it was a .xlsx file with multiple worksheets, and that the names you chose for your files throughout the flow were followed by their file type, for example, .pdf or .xlsx. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted PDF document. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using CloudMersive connectors in Power Automate.